Hey guys and welcome back to this trip report. Today we're flying with Virgin Australia aboard their Boeing 737-800 in economy class aboard VA682 from Perth to Melbourne. This is my first flight since the beginning of the pandemic with my last flight being all the way back in January last year. Our journey today begins at Perth Airport Terminal 1 Domestic, which is used solely by Virgin Australia and its regional counterpart Virgin Australia Regional Airlines, VARA. Virgin used self-check-in kiosks with a bag drop facility and found this to be easy and efficient. Although I didn't check any bags in, my travel companion did. Go follow his Instagram and YouTube, the links will be down in the description below. The domestic pier of Terminal 1 has 8 gates along its length, separated by a bank of shops and food outlets in the centre. There are two cafes, a Hungry Jack's, which is closed at the time of filming, a noodle shop and a few other small stores. In terms of amenities, toilets and drink fountains can be found in the middle portion of the terminal at either end of the food and shopping section. The extension of Terminal 1 opened in 2015 and resulted in Virgin Australia moving its operations out of Terminal 3 across the airfield into this new space. Overall, this is by far the nicest departure terminal at the airport, providing a spacious and relaxing atmosphere. Our flight was to board through Gate 43 today, with both Aero Bridge and Rear Stair boarding. Our aircraft today is VH-YVA, a 9.8 year old Boeing 737-800 delivered new to Virgin Australia in 2011. It's named after Yurong Beach in Queensland. The aircraft was returned to Virgin Australia in November of 2020 after a short stint with Tiger Air, the former low-cost subsidiary to Virgin Australia. As I was seated towards the rear of the aircraft, I boarded via the rear stairs. This gave an incredible view of our bird that would take us to Melbourne today. Today I'll be seated in seat 19B, just behind the wing of the left side of the aircraft. Pushback commenced well before our scheduled departure time of 9.10. Off of Bay 143, we pushed tail south before taxiing to holding point Charlie 9 for departure off runway 03. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description below.
today's flight time would be 3 hours and 20 minutes at a cruising altitude of 37 and 38,000 feet. YBA is one of Virgin Australia's newer Boeing 737s, believe it or not, and as a result features the Boeing Sky interior. This basically allows the cabin crew to put on funky mood lighting. Pretty cool, huh? Since the 25th of March this year, Virgin Australia has introduced a buy on board food and drink service to economy class. This is a major change to the once complimentary food and drink on all flights. The menu is basic and has satisfactory offerings for a three hour flight, however, water, tea, and coffee remains free of charge. the toilet review, perhaps the pinnacle of these trip reports. Enjoy! Virgin does not provide inbuilt entertainment screens or iPads for passenger use on any of their flights. However, passengers can download the Virgin Australia Entertainment app on their devices to stream a selection of movies and TV shows. The in-flight moving map is also displayed on the app. I was silly and forgot to download the app. Note, you can't use the onboard Wi-Fi to download the app, so you must download it before takeoff. Virgin Australia operate pretty standard 737s with 168 seats in economy and a 3x3 configuration. Each seat comes with 30 inches of pitch and 17 inches of width. Each seat comes with a non-foldable tray, an adjustable air vent, and reading light. Pretty simple, right? Soon we were beginning our descent into Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport. Overall, this was a fairly decent flight with Virgin Australia. I paid 267 Australian dollars for this flight, about two weeks from departure, which isn't too bad. Considering Qantas can often charge $100 or more on their, for their flights, for what Virgin offered, their fare was completely justified. It's absurd that Qantas can get away with charging way more for basically exactly the same product, plus a bit of food and drink. I think that in conclusion, Virgin Australia is good value for money, and you get what you paid for. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next trip report.